As I'm sure a lot of you know, James Charles has been in hot water in recent months after allegations of him exchanging inappropriate messages with underage boys and trying to solicit inappropriate photos from said underage boys have come out. And after those allegations came out and blew the fuck up, James Charles made a video basically admitting to doing all of this, saying the same old tired shit you hear in every YouTuber apology video. I have now realized the error in my ways and I will never do anything like this ever again. You know, basically only seeing the error in their ways after they get caught and are scrutinized in mass. And also, he tried to excuse his actions by saying, well, I'm single and I'm desperate for a boyfriend. As if this is normal fucking behavior when you're desperate for a partner, but alright. And then after that video, he went MIA for a while. Until a few weeks ago, where he made his grand return to YouTube. He is back making the same exact content he made prior to this controversy, and it's business as usual on his channel. He's making his makeup tutorials again, and whatever the fuck else he posts onto his channel, because... I don't watch beauty YouTubers. The only time I watch beauty YouTubers is when I'm having trouble falling asleep, but that aside, and his fans are eating up his return. I'm looking at his latest video uploaded onto his channel. TikTok makeup hacks are crazy, and it's just a sea of positive comments, people telling James how much they love him, how much they love his content, and 133,000 likes versus 16,000 dislikes. Like. Did you just fucking forget that this guy is a predator trying to solicit inappropriate pictures from underage boys? Does liking his content somehow outweigh the fact that he did that? This is what I really fucking hate whenever huge YouTubers are caught doing serious and disgusting shit like this. They are scrutinized for a few weeks, they put out a half-assed apology video, they disappear for a month or two waiting for everything to blow over, and then they come back and their stupid fucking audience welcomes them back with open arms, willing to look the other way and not acknowledge the horrible shit they were exposed for doing. It is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, and I wish this cycle would end already. Look at Onision. For years on end, he was abusing women. The evidence was right there in front of everyone's fucking faces, and for years on end, he had a huge audience willing to defend him. It only took that audience growing up and finally realizing he's a shitbag, and for him to lose his relevancy finally, for him to finally finally face the scrutiny he deserved for so long. And I'm just wondering, is the same thing gonna happen to James? Is it gonna take his relevancy finally crashing and burning for him to finally face any sort of repercussions for his actions? Or at the very least, finally face the scrutiny that he deserved to face for so long after his relevancy is gone and he doesn't have nearly as much influence as he once had when he was still doing this shit. And look, I am fully aware there are plenty of people out there calling out James. They know he's a shitbag of a human being. They know he's a predator. This is not a small amount of people by any means that I'm referring to. But obviously, these people are still drowned out by his legion of fans kissing his ass. His videos still receive overwhelmingly positive support. And what fucking message does this send? Oh, if you're caught trying to solicit pictures from underage people, you still have plenty of fans left willing to kiss your ass, willing to look the other way, make excuses for your actions, or just completely ignore your horrible actions, and still love the content you put out regardless. All this does is send signals to him saying, hey, you can keep doing this shit, because, yeah, sure, you're gonna get scrutinized a little bit for a few weeks and have some videos made about you, but, hey, if you put out a half-assed apology video, disappear for a month and a half, and then come back, you're still gonna have all of your fans waiting for you, hugging you, being so happy you're back, and then you can make the same content you were making prior, like it's business as usual, and just move on and everyone is gonna forget. He recently, in an Instagram story, posted himself watching a 17-year-old Minecraft streamer. Now, you may say he's just watching a stream in this picture, sure, but given his track record with minors on the internet... I don't know, I feel that's kind of sort of sus. There's a caption in this Instagram post and it reads, About to glam featuring at real purple, playing Bed Wars to keep me entertained. Now, I know Bed Wars is a Minecraft game or whatever the fuck, but that caption just really rubs me the wrong way and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because this story sparked yet another round of controversy for James. He could have been just innocently watching this kid's live stream, sure. I wasn't there so I can't say conclusively whether or not this was nefarious, but 
Still, a layer of trust is gone now that the whole world knows that at least at one point he was grooming underage boys, and now everything he says or does involving a minor is taken into question, and he should know that that layer of trust is now gone because everyone knows what he did. This at the very least shows that he has not learned any responsibility for his actions, like, at all, but... That aside, I feel like if James was grooming girls, this would be a lot bigger, and he probably would face a lot more scrutiny. I'm just putting that out there. We live in a piece of shit patriarchal society where so many people view boys not as victims of these sorts of things because they think all teenage boys are horn dogs. Like, say, when a teenage boy sleeps with his teacher. Oh, they probably loved it. They were so lucky because all teenage boys are horny, and this boy got to live out his dream sleeping with a, such a sexy teacher. It's fucking disgusting. Disgusting. And the same thing applies with this. Oh, the boy was probably asking for it because, you know, he was 16. And all 16-year-old boys are the same, obviously. Never mind the trauma they may have went through following this experience. Never mind the fact that they were manipulated by someone with a massive audience abusing their platform because they know the imbalance of power between themselves and the person they are grooming. And also, this is just yet another example of someone rich, famous, white getting away with shit like this. People with a higher social status are way more likely to get away with shit like this, and I'm so fucking sick of seeing it. I'm so fucking sick of seeing all these YouTubers and famous people in general get caught grooming people, and they face no repercussions for their actions. They get away scot-free, and people sure scrutinize them for a little bit, and then they just forget. They just drop the subject and move on, while said famous person probably continues to do what they were doing because they know they won't face any meaningful repercussions for their actions, and they get to maintain a massive audience, so they win in the end, basically. It really comes to the point where you question why people even call out these people to begin with, because there's really no point when you think about it. These people just get away scot-free nearly every time. I wish scumfucks like this were actually held accountable for their actions, and I wish they actually faced real repercussions for their horrible actions and not just get away scot-free because of their status in society. Just because someone is famous does not mean they are above basic morality. And to the people who are fans, Fans of these douchebags, just because you like whatever they put out does not mean they are absolved of all their horrible actions. Fucking learn that finally. That's all I have to say. Bye bye.